Hello, welcome to this special five-part lecture presentation intended to provide some explanation and guidance for the core competency assessments that will be administered in this course as part of the requirements for its successful completion. This semester, you will be assessed on your mastery of the four core competencies that have been established by the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board for this government course. Parts 2, 3, 4, and 5 of this special lecture presentation will introduce you to information that is specifically related to each of the four core competencies. Part 1 is intended to briefly introduce you to the purpose and requirements of these assessments. The Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board has mandated that students completing the Government 2305 and Government 2306 courses will be able to demonstrate mastery of four skills that its members have deemed relevant to the general education core curriculum. The four competencies are critical thinking, communication, personal responsibility, and social responsibility. In other words, what I'm telling you is that the reason we are assessing these core competencies in this government course is because a governmental agency of the state of Texas, the one that governs higher education, the very activity in which you are engaged for the next 16 weeks, says we have to. See, you're already learning about how government affects your life. That's a pretty good reason to take a Texas government course right there. At any rate, on each of the first four unit exams, students will be prompted to write an answer to an essay question that will be used to assess students' mastery of one of the four core competencies relevant to the course as follows. Core competency one, social responsibility, designated as SR, will be assessed on unit exam one. Core competency 2, personal responsibility, designated as PR, will be assessed on unit exam 2. Core competency 3, communication, designated as CM, will be assessed on unit exam 3. Core competency 4, critical thinking, designated as CT, will be assessed on unit exam 4. On unit exam 5, students will be given the opportunity to improve their response to one of the four core competency essays they submitted on a previous unit exam. Additional details about this opportunity will be provided in a separate document. First, let's briefly outline what the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board expects for each of these assessments. What is the motivation behind these core curriculum assessments? I can use my internet browser to navigate to the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board's website by typing in the URL highered.texas.gov or by typing Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board into an internet search engine such as Google. Once on the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board's website, I can scroll over to the link About Us and click on any of those links to learn about the board itself. Notice this last link suggests that this board has some rulemaking authority, such as a rule that requires professors in government courses to assess their students' mastery of four core competencies. This report can be found on the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board's website. It details something called the Texas Core Curriculum, and was published in April of 2018. Reading from pages 3 and 4 of this document, we learn that the Texas Core Curriculum is a 42 semester credit hour core curriculum for all undergraduate students in Texas public higher education. Each institution selects the specific courses it will offer to fulfill that framework of the Texas Core Curriculum in a way that takes into account individ the individual role and mission of the institution. The Texas Core Curriculum, curriculum Implementation at each Institution must receive approval from the Coordinating Board and institutions must evaluate the effective effectiveness of their Texas Core Curriculum at regular intervals. One of the most important provisions of the Texas Core Curriculum is that it allows students who successfully complete a 42-semester-hour 
credit, uh, 42 semester credit hour core curriculum at one institution to transfer the entire set of completed courses to another public Texas higher education institution without having to repeat any core courses. Students who transfer without completing the entire 42 semester credit hour core curriculum also receive credit for each of the core courses they successfully complete. Although the courses included in the Texas core curriculum may vary by institution, every Texas higher education institution's core curriculum must include the following foundational component areas in semester credit hours. Communication, six semester credit hours. Mathematics, three semester credit hours. Life and physical sciences, six semester credit hours. Language, philosophy, and culture, three semester credit hours. Creative arts, three semester credit hours. American history, six semester credit hours. Government or political science, six semester credit hours. Social and behavioral sciences, three semester credit hours. The component area option, six semester credit hours. The report also notes that the government and political science requirement was first adopted by the Texas legislature in 1929, codified in Texas Education Code 51.301. The American history requirement was first adopted by the Texas legislature in 1955, codified in Texas Education Code 51.302. Students have flexibility to choose courses from an institution's core curriculum. However, however that flexibility may be limited by the student's major. For example, most science majors have prescribed math and science requirements as part of their degree program requirements. Students should always consult with an academic advisor or counselor at their institution to determine what courses they should take. The statement of purpose indicates that given the rapid evolution of necessary knowledge and skills and the need to take into account global, national, state, and local cultures, the Texas core curriculum must ensure that students will develop the essential knowledge and skills they need to be successful in college, in a career, in their communities, and in life. In this chart, the report indicates that the four core competencies for government and political science courses are critical thinking, communication, social responsibility, and personal responsibility. Students demonstrate mastery of the critical thinking competency by demonstrating mastery of four skills. Inquiry, analysis, synthesis, and product. Students demonstrate mastery of the communication competency by demonstrating mastery of three skills. Development of ideas, interpretation of ideas, and expression of ideas. Students master the social responsibility competency when they can demonstrate intercultural competency, civic responsibility, and engage their regional, national, and global communities. Finally, students demonstrate mastery of the personal responsibility competency when they can identify ethical choices, formulate ethical alternatives, responses to problems, explaining the pros and cons of each, and by identifying the consequences of actions. As previously indicated, each of the assessments administered this semester in this course deal with one of the four core competencies. Part two of the special lecture presentation addresses the core competency assessed on unit exam one, social responsibility.